Hello, Our Lady of Grace, Father Clayton here, coming to you with our 2021 State of the Parish Address. <laughs> what a year we have been through together. As I look back and I reflect on the past year, three things fill my mind and my heart. Number one, I look back over this year and I am totally edified by the faith that I have seen and encountered here at our parish. So many of you, even in the midst of the circumstances that we're in, the chaos that we're in, your faith has persevered. You've kept your eyes and your hearts fixed on Christ in the midst of the storm, and you've continued to practice your faith, to do great things for the Lord, to open your heart to Him. You've continued to grow in your faith, even in the difficulty. And I'm so absolutely edified by it. Thank you for your faithfulness. Next, another thing that really impresses me as I look back is the way that the dedication and the creativity and the innovation of our staff and our volunteers has shown forth. We look back over the year and who could have imagined what we were, would go through? But at the same time, we rose to the occasion. And I watched as so many of our volunteers and especially our staff responded to the situation into which we were kind of thrown in order to continue accomplishing the mission that Christ entrusted to them, to continue doing great things, to continue pushing their ministries forward, to continue to touch the minds and the hearts of believers here in Noblesville. And finally, I am utterly excited as I look back and as I look forward. Every morning, as I'm before the Lord in prayer, I take our parish, I take Our Lady of Grace, and I place all of our parishioners in our parish into our Lord's hands. And I ask that His will might be accomplished here among us. And whenever I do that, what fills my heart most is a sense of joy and a sense of excitement. Friends, I think that God has incredible things planned for us. I look at the talent that's here in our parish. I looked at, look at the giftedness of our parishioners. I look at the potential that's present here. And I'm so excited to think of what God can do among us in the years to come. Along with that excitement that fills my heart, I'm also filled with a conviction that if the Lord wants to accomplish all of these things among us, if it really is His will to do these great things, He's going to be the one that makes it happen. We have nothing to worry about. We have nothing to fear. We just have to be faithful to Him, right? But I do, at the same time, want to give you a quick update on where we are financially. Because the state of our finances really is the practical foundation of accomplishing our mission. So you all are well aware of the fact that over the past year, our mortgage was paid off. And we had that beautiful celebration together. We had to move it inside, but that didn't stop us. We had that beautiful celebration in which we got together to shred our mortgage. And we were able to welcome Father Tom back, to have Tom and Sonny Sheehan there, to have Bishop Doherty there, to have Mike Whitka come back and celebrate with us, and to watch as that paper entered the shredder as a sign of the new freedom that we have from that debt. And that freedom gives us the opportunity to do so much together. And so what a wonderful gift that is. Now, I want you to stay tuned as well to the end of this video. After the, the video is done, Father Block has been working very, very hard to take all of those little shreddings of our mortgage and to do what you all really want to see. Make them go up in flames. So stay tuned. In addition, I want to give you a quick update on where we are on our collections. Right now, at, as of May 2021, we're at about $87,000 below where we budgeted to be in our regular collections, which are the bread and butter of any parish. By the end of the fiscal year, the end of June, we're anticipating that we'll be about $100,000 below our budget. At the same time, a lot of credit goes to Larry, our Director of Operations, and our staff here for responding to that situation and cutting their costs. And so even though we're pretty far below 
where we want to be with collections, we're still about $52,000 in the black as of the end of May, and we're anticipating being about $38,000 in the black at the end of the fiscal year. I realize too, and I want to recognize, that over the past four years, we have fundraised about $850,000. And so we know that the deficit that we're seeing in our collections really is a response to the fact that you have been giving your money and you have been generous with our parish in a number of other areas. And so we see that, we thank you for it, and we know that your generosity has not waned in the midst of all of this. Finally, a quick update on the Catholic Ministries appeal. To date, we are about 79% pledged toward our goal, which means that we have about $83,000 still to pledge toward the goal that our diocese set for us. And so the Bishop's Appeal is still going on, and I encourage you, if you haven't been able to give to the Bishop's Appeal, that you look into doing that, because not only does it help our Bishop with his ministries, it also helps us here financially at Our Lady of Grace. In the end, looking back over the last year, I hope that you are as edified as I have been by the faith of our parishioners. I hope that you have been as impressed as I have been, seeing the dedication and the creativity of so many staff and volunteers. And I hope that you are as excited as me, as we look forward to the great things that God wants to accomplish among us and all of the plans that he has for us here at Our Lady of Grace. You know, Father Clayton, I haven't really been sleeping that well at night, even after we shredded our mortgage. I think it's just knowing that the shreds still exist been troubling me. So you probably didn't notice, but I actually, I went in a little dumpster diving and I found the old shreds that we had of it. And I think today it's time to set things right and burn these guys like we would have had the weather worked out. All right. Yes.